we're doing this new segment. It's called Ana, llévame contigo. And that means, Ana, take me with you. I woke up and said, look, there's turkeys. So I have to tell you that. Have a great day, everybody. Vaya con Dios. This is going to be an open air market. You can have different food, different drinks. Um, and Complexity Games in Ohio City. It's an escape room. And so, like, people have told me, like, well, Anna, you should do an escape room, but I don't, I'm like, why would I want to do an escape room? It sounds scary. They probably lock the doors. So I'm not, any, I'm not into that stuff. But it's nothing like that at all. See, these folks are over here laughing. Here's Diana, one of the owners here, and Father Chris. <laughs> How are you? Four kind. <laughs> oh, Diana, you're so sweet. So tell us about um, tell us about Perplexity Games. I was just saying that it's not scary at all. No, it's not scary. <laughs> um, it's a family business. Mm -hmm. I've got my husband. I have three kids in their 20s mm -hmm. that all we work together to create it. Um, it's all homegrown. All of our games are created and built mm -hmm. by us. Mm -hmm. We have um, three different games here. And instead of trying to escape, you're trying to find something or do something. Mm -hmm. So it's, you're never locked in. It's not claustrophobic. Sometimes right. people are afraid of that. It's really mm -hmm. fun for all ages. Awesome. And so we were trying to um, get the mop, right? In, in our right, search, right, right. You were taking on the mop. Taking in on the mop. In 1930s Cleveland, fighting corruption. Oh my goodness. And how often do people actually win the game when a group comes in? Oh, no, no, no. Um, it's about one in four. One in four? Yeah. All righty. And then Father Chris, so you just love these games. This is not the first one you've been to. No, I like to do these because they're like real things you can really do with really people, real people, and there's none of this. There's uh -huh. none of this going on. Right, right. They're really, these are real mind and really talk with real people to do something. And thank goodness you came with us because we would have been lost without <laughs> you. No, they would have given you more clues, trust oh, okay. me. They would. <laughs> We, we would. We, we don't really leave you totally stranded. We'll, we'll, we'll give you hints to keep you moving along. All right. And how much is it to come? It's $30 a person, yeah. but we also just started a new program. On Sundays, we have our Sunday matinee, and you can get this room for $240 for Elliot Ness, but you can bring up to 12 people. Oh, wow. So that's a good deal. And it's a private room, mm -hmm. so you can bring two people, you can bring... 12 people, yeah, but it'll be going. just your people we'll and up. it'll be um, a set price. So it's Our, about $20. Right, a if you person, bring 12, right? it brings it down to $20. Okay, kind of like going to the movies. And we have the same kind of deal for our Clockwork Caper games. Just certain time slots, if you look for them on Sundays, midday, um, you can bring up to eight people for $175. Uh, where did the idea originate? You know? You know, it actually came out of um, Asia. It was, they were based on video games. There's, <laughs> there are Escape the Room video games, uh -huh. and they were so much fun, somebody got the idea to make them into a real life game. Mm -hmm. And so they just took off like wildfire, and they are all over the, the world. Uh, they started here about 19, or 2013, mm -hmm. 2012, there were maybe 100 of them. Now there's several thousand and there's more opening every day all over the country. Yeah, absolutely. By our house we just had one open up as well. Okay. So Father Chris, what's your favorite part of it? Why do you keep coming back? I really don't know. I really <laughs> don't. I, I do like puzzles. Like puzzles. I, I like doing things with groups. Uh -huh. um, so I bring my, my sister and I, we took on one room, mad scientists, we took it on by ourselves in one. Ooh, and like, so I like the challenge of it. You have one hour and um, it, it brings people together as well. So you can bring a group of people that don't know each other too well, and by the end of it, you're kind of friends, you've done something together, you work together, you've accomplished something, um, and you've accomplished something real, in a sense. So. Right, you don't die. And it's just, it's, <laughs> it's a challenge, it's interesting, you have to make, also you have to make uncommon connections, you have to use your head, and it makes people think outside the box, and we need that in our culture, we need to be able to think outside the box, and we need to be open-minded. Well, coming up next, you're going to find out if we make it through, <laughs> if, we, if the mobsters don't come in and get their uh, machine guns out and kill us all. <laughs> so stay tuned. Hi, my name is Amparo Vega. I'm the owner and founder of Original Cleveland Watch Company. If you're a nonprofit or a high school looking for a unique way to fundraise, 
I can make you lots of money. Give me a call. The time is right to earn hundreds, even thousands of dollars for your fundraiser and show your school spirit. You can make up to $12 profit per watch and showcase your business or non-for-profit. Call now, Original Cleveland Watch Company at 216-905-3715. All right, the Anna Show is in Toledo today. We are visiting our old friend, Doug. He used to live near us. And so we're making him a Hispanic plate. We're gonna make Puerto Rican rice and beans and pasteles. So this time, instead of me watching people cook, I'm going to cook and um, hopefully cook him a great meal. Hi, Hello, hola, hola, buenos dias. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hola, how are you? Good. Good to see you. What's up, baby? Not much. <laughs> Good to be seen. <laughs> How's it going? Good to see Good. you. Good. Hello, hi, how are you? I'm Anna. Amanda. This is my husband, Shane. Nice to meet you. Wow, it's it's nice in here. Yeah. We made it look good for you guys. <laughs> well, you guys did a great job. Uh, so we've been friends for a long time, right? Right. Like, how many years do you think? At least five. Absolutely, a lot more. Absolutely, absolutely. So, so you wanted to say a couple words, right? I, I just wanted to show that disabled people can be a, a part of the community and do things too. Absolutely, absolutely. And me and Anna have been friends for a long time because uh, she used to have her own musical group. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's how we became friends. That's right. Because he came to Mount Lake to do a fundraiser for the troops. Yep, yep, yep. And then uh, I saw you dancing. We were to merengue music with your with yeah. your wheelchair and I came over and danced with you. We'll have to do that. Yeah. All right, so right now I'm gonna make some Puerto Rican rice and beans. Right. All righty. And if right. you want to help out, you let me know, okay? Okay. So I don't measure anything. I just kind of eye it here. This is really funny, Dougie, because usually I go to people's house, homes and they cook. And so now I'm on the spot, so I know how they feel. So I'm stressing, but I'll be fine. Okay, so then we're gonna do that. And then, usually I just put the tomato sauce in there. And then, this is um, the secret to all Puerto Rican cooking. I've said this like a couple times on the show. This is sofrito, and it's got cilantro and onion and garlic. You wanna smell it? Yeah. Oh, it smells so good. This is the one that we really like. There's a couple. Mm. Isn't that awesome? So yeah. if you're gonna make like, so real quick, so these are kidney beans over here. So if you have a can of kidney beans, a can of tomato sauce, and you put a little bit of sofrito in there, divine. And you make some white rice, it's so good. So if you know any Puerto Rican that makes this at their house, just ask them if, you know, you can have some, and then you can have some great recipes. Like I even put that in my spaghetti sauce for pasta. So good. So anyway, getting back to the rice and beans, so we're doing that, so I'm gonna put some sofrito, so I just eye it here. And you don't wanna to put too much sofrito because it kinda of takes over the whole rice. So you want different flavors. Alrighty. Mix that around there. So Dougie, so um, do you remember when you were like the president of that, um, that organization, Advocacy for, for the Disabled? Yeah, uh, it's called, uh, I'm a member of a group called People First. Yes. And uh, what they do is advocate for people with developmental and physical disabilities. Mm -hmm. And I would like to see a chapter started in Lake County. 
Mm -hmm. at some point. All right, so you still help them out. Yeah. Okay. So these are the chichas that they're like Vienna sausage or little salchichas. You'll see them at the grocery store. So those go in there as well and they give some good flavor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them up. And then I'm going to put them in the rice. All right, so we got um, some salchichas going in. <laughs> going all over the place. <laughs> Alrighty, righty, we'll just toss those in there. All righty, and then we're gonna um, do the pigeon peas. And some people leave the water and put it in the rice. I don't, my mom told me not to. So I just take that out. So then, in addition, we have these little spices. Um, there's ham flavored spice. And then this one is, um, it actually gives color and it's a seasoning. So we've got all these different um, flavors in there. So I'm going to do one of the hamong, which is ham, like a ham flavor, ham bone flavor. And then this one, we'll do one. Um, I could do, you could do one or two. But if you use two, your, your rice will um, be very um, red or orange. And my mom used to make it very red, so we did two. And the secret to this is that um, you know you can't put too much water in and not enough because you want it. Diversity is important. Diversity is important. Oh my gosh, yes, we are we are much more powerful as a nation when we're more diverse. Yeah. Right. And we should, we should as a society help our younger people mm -hmm. to lessen the chances of school violence of any type. Absolutely, absolutely. So we gotta wait for the water to evaporate. Um, and so while we do that, that'll take about 20 minutes. So you want to dance? Yeah. All right. I, I don't have any music to dance with. I have music. Okay. Musica. You hear it okay? Mm. Okay, bailar todo el mundo. Let's dance. Huepa. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> How can we help just regular people? I think sometimes people still have a hard time when they see someone who's disabled out in public. You know, my dad had oxygen for a while and he had a hard time just going out in public because sometimes people would stare and he would feel uncomfortable. What do you think is the best thing to do to make this, the disabled feel welcomed and loved wherever they are? Well, if you're in like a restaurant or something similar, and you see a person in a wheelchair, don't be afraid to go up and say hello. Because they are people too. Right, you don't want to feel invisible, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they have right, this is... And, and feelings. Yeah, they have rights to have friendships and relationships too. Mm -hmm. And... If you ever see a handicapped person struggling to hold open the door, offer the, offer the, say, say, hey, you need help to get in, I won't open the door. Things like that. Mm -hmm. Do things that include disabled people in the community. Mm -hmm. that if we do enough of that, they'll feel like they're part of something. Right. Make it a better world. Yeah. And all right, it's all ready, Dougie. Okay. Puerto Rican rice and beans, pasteles, and corn. Cool. There you go. Look at that. It's really good, you know. 
I, I have to say, this is like one of the best ones I've made. I tried it. It's well, so good. We'll see how you did here. <laughs> okay. All right, it might be kind of hot. Let me see. Try it. Is it really hot? No, I'm not. Good. Good? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Muchos gracias. <laughs> Muchas gracias. Thank you. Yeah. Muy bien. That's very good. Yeah. Did you practice yeah. that? Mouth-watering delicious food minus the gluten. Gluten-free and the meals taste great. Moist and tasty chocolate cupcakes, mouth-watering thinner pan pizza, soft and chewy chocolate chip cookies that melt in your mouth, light and fluffy pancakes, crispy flaky pie crust, all gluten-free. Catherine spent years perfecting her recipes. Buy her gluten-free mixes online. Go to MinusG.com now. Hi, hola everyone. We are here with um, John Klopp from Klopp Investment and we're talking today about why is it that people wait to oh. invest and save money? Why, uh, what's this, what do you think the psychology is behind it? I think the psychology is that uh, you know, people are a little afraid you know, to invest and uh, risk their hard-earned money in some sort of investment, whether that be real estate, mm -hmm. the stock market, or uh, starting a new business, which everybody wants to do. Um, for us, uh, we help people invest in the stock market and um, our goal and strategy is based on prudent individual securities like Google, Facebook, American Express, Home Depot, those types of companies. And uh, we believe those companies add a lot of value and the average investor can sleep well at night without worrying too much about their uh, stock investments in the market. So let's talk about millennials. Um, they're in a perfect position to save money and start saving money early, but are they doing that? There's been some new data on the millenniums, as they say, mm -hmm. that uh, they are more interested in uh, experiences and living for the now than uh, saving for the future. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I still say the data is relatively new, meaning only three or four years of, of good data. Mm -hmm. So uh, we need more time. but. Uh, I'm sure a decent percentage of them, especially if they are good wage earners, are socking some money away for, you know, money to help pay for a house down the road, to start a family, and then in, to invest for their future as well. So I've heard throughout the years that companies will buy back their own stock. Oh, yes. w why is that? Uh, that's, yeah, it's a good phenomenon. Uh, they do that in order to reduce the number of shares outstanding in the open market, and that will lead to increased earnings per share and then Wall Street likes that. Everybody likes that if you have more money in the coffers, therefore the price of the stock will go up. So you are what is known as uh, reducing the share count and increasing the earnings per share. So big companies are strategizing and we should be strategizing. That's true, never right? forget the little guy. Never forget about yourself. <laughs> That's right. Well, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Great well, to, see good you. to see you again. Thank you. Hi, this is Matt Galini with Mentor iPhone Repair. We fix iPhones, iPads, and iPods. Most repairs are done in 15 minutes or less. If you're looking for a case for your brand new iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, we have plenty to choose from. We also have pre-owned devices at a great price. We can protect any iPhone model you have, even with the 5s and the 6s and the 6 Pluses. Need to get a grip? How about a pop socket? We also have a variety of iPad cases as well. I'm Matt Galini. Come and see my new store across from Great Lakes Mall. Elizabeth Image Unisex Salon, where looking good is understood. Cleveland's first Hispanic female barber entrepreneur, and she does my hair every week. Her team does hair, updos, eyebrows, pedicures, and will do your makeup for that special occasion. Elizabeth Image Unisex Salon, located at 4355 Ridge Road in Brooklyn, Ohio. You can contact her and her staff at 216-961. 4441 elizabethimage.com okay so we love showing you some interesting places around town we had some things on the lake where you can get a bouquet of flowers <laughs> and we are here with the owner today Sagid with her Hi. beautiful store welcome thank, thank you so you. much for joining us I love these flowers I love flowers yeah they are gorgeous awesome all right so tell me a little bit about your store I had the Christmas store here for the last six years, mm -hmm. popping up and closing after the season. Mm -hmm. but it was always my dream to have 
something year round, something special with good customer service like it used to be in the day, back in the day when you come to a store and you find everything you need in one stop. So this is the man cave, Sagit. So tell me, tell me about the man cave. What you this is one of my favorite section. Mm -hmm. I got all kinds of cool stuff, gift, just a place that guys can hang out when their wife or girlfriends shop around. I have a cool a whiskey glasses, all kinds of crap for beer, a, a watches, hats, everything, everything that you can think of for a man cave or just if you want to do something more manly, mm -hmm. we can help you do this. So, I love it, you know, because Father's Day is coming, coming out right around right, the corner. Right. And, you know, everything goes flies by. Anything, anything mm -hmm. you want for a grandpa, a, a gift for a grandpa. And it really is hard to shop for men, for men sometimes, yeah. you know? It's so hard if you go any other stores, it's so hard to find section just for men. So you see these beautiful flowers on the mantle. Uh -huh. So I'm always getting like flowers from the backyard from like my husband and my son and they're hard to put them on a regular vase because they just fall over and they never look right even though they're beautiful. Right. So check this out. So this is a vase with the holes in it. Right. So and you can just sit, so it makes them look like this. Like a so beautiful so pretty. bouquet like, from the garden. So Or if you order no, them or yeah. you know, if you get them from the store. So I love this. Well, and I the, love the two. This is where I got it. Yeah, it's $14.99. Love the price. Awesome. Actually, I'm going to get this. We have a section all for kids, but for now, for spring, we have those rain boots, raincoats, and umbrella matching. Cute, cute sets. Very, very cute. Very cute. High quality, great prices. This is Disney. This is This is for the, the Disney artist. enthusiast. I, had, I did Christmas before I did this. Mm -hmm. And those are personalized Christmas ornaments. Mm -hmm. We personalize them right here. Mm -hmm. We have a shoot, the biggest selection that you can ever find it's anywhere. Beautiful. Yes. Um, and it goes again, you have for everything, you have for sport, you have for hobbies, you have for uh, occupation, couples, babies, everything that you can think of, we have. Do you have people who no. come in and oh, buy all now? The time. Yesterday You're not just saying that to make me feel better? I saw, no, yesterday I saw one of those, the bold one, the big okay. one, and I personalized this for the guy, and a lot of people buy Christmas year round. <laughs> this is why they asked me, they told me, why won't you stay Christmas year mm -hmm. round? So I shrink it to the back. Mm -hmm. And then in Christmas time, I will blow up again. Uh -huh. Then we have a section of milestones, special occasions. So it's birthday, graduation, expecting mothers, um, retirement, mm -hmm. anything like that. So babies. Cute. I thought this was adorable over here. This right here. When you, yes. Yeah. When they yeah. get their, what is it called? The, the ultrasound. When they get their ultrasound. Yeah. So I would have loved to have this when I had my boys. Because I would just have it in my purse, but right. I could just show you. You that. just put it, yeah, you can put it next That's to your so bed. Sweet. You can put it on a, when it's Christmas time, you can put it on a tree. Yes, yes. Yeah. Aww. All right, so for some great gift ideas, you can come to Some Things on the Lake at Great Lakes Mall. And you can come see Sagi. She'll take very good care of you. I will. And then, so... If people see our show and they see the story on the show, they get 10% off. They come here to say they saw us on the, on the show and I will, we will, they will get 10% off. All right, and they get, they'll get anything. And then they'll get some samples, extra of course, samples in the back. Of course, everybody gets. And some tea. Okay. And tea I'm just and kidding. food. Hi, I'm Jamie Brinkus. You may remember me as the guy who invented eight minute abs. Concept that unleashed an explosion of time sensitive solutions to help you and countless others achieve your fitness goals in a very busy world. Now, starting now, I'm joining forces with Evergreen Wellness. That's right, this time I'm here to put the boom back in the baby boomers. Now I'm proud to be part of Evergreen Wellness, and now you can be too. Welcome back. We are at Ohio City at Perplexity Games. This is an escape room and there's nothing scary about it. They don't lock the doors on you. You have an hour to get out and in this case, it's the mob. We're trying to take down the mob. And then you, you get enough clues, you can go into this big room and find the big clues right here with Father Chris and Diana, one of the owners of Perplexity Games. So, um, so Father Chris, tell me about your experience. Well, our experience together, we were fortunate enough to have Father Chris with us on our team. And thank God for that. 
<laughs> we wouldn't I, have made it through the three rooms. I came out for you today. I came out for you. I, I love it. It's um, so much fun to be here and to try and figure things mm -hmm. out. Makes your mind, makes you just think about things outside the box. Mm -hmm. And it brings people together. And you, there's no phone. We use the phone. Well, we use the light on the phone, but we use the phone zero times today to do something exciting. Actually, and I thought about Googling some stuff before I came and there was no it information. It wouldn't help you. <laughs> no, I was just trying to do some research. Oh, she did. Oh, she did. <laughs> and so I noticed they added that there's, there's um, some cameras in here so you always can see what's happening, everybody's safe. Right, yes. We watch um, our game masters, are the people that run the games, and they have um, video of everything that's going on inside the rooms at all times. Okay. So we know if you're getting stuck, we know we make sure you're following the rules for safety, and it's real. It's not physical. It's not dangerous. It's just a lot of fun in a real life puzzle adventure game. And can you hear what's going on as well? Yes. Okay. So what's one of the funniest things that you've seen? Because you know, when you have groups, you have all these different kinds of people together. Sometimes people will put the record on the record player and start dancing, and that's really fun. <laughs> and forget that they may die if they don't write. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it's just a lot of fun. But they, I, I love it when people put it on the record and start dancing. It's, oh, that's it's great. Cute. And so you've had your business now for two years? Yes. All right, so tell us about admission, and you have a special rate on Sunday. Right. It's $30 a person um, for most games, for um, any of our three games here. On Sundays, for two of our games, we're offering a special Sunday matinee with fixed rate pricing for the whole room. So you can get a discounted rate and bring as many people as the room holds. Okay. And it, it doesn't require a coupon code. You just go to our website at perplexitygames.com, click on Book Now, and you'll be able to see that pricing. And is that about twenty dollars? Am I right? On if that if you bring twelve people to this game, it brings it down to twenty dollars a person for that. So it's a really good deal. All righty. And so, unfortunately, Father, we really tried, but we all passed away. <laughs> well, the idea is this is the second it's time, right? Yeah, they're supposed to be challenging. I they played four before I won one, but that way it really means something when you win one. If, if everybody won and you just went through, it would be like a participation ribbon. It would just be a thing you did. It wouldn't really be a challenge. And they have a really fun way here that they break the news to you that you lost. So yes. you have to come to figure it out. Yes, <laughs> yes. And you're definitely using different parts of your brain, I think. I mean, I had a little bit of a headache because I was kind of stressed and I was looking at the clock. I'm like, oh my gosh, we're going to make it. So You guys were so close. I really thought you were going to pull it off. So if you want to check out Perplexity Games in Ohio City, you can go online and find Perplexity Games. Perplexitygames.com.